Hi guys. Um, I haven't actually done a lot today. It's been a quiet day. Um, that doesn't mean I haven't been busy. I've just been busy around the flat. I had my cousin come round this afternoon, this evening, not this afternoon. Um, brought his desktop back so I could sort the audio out. Now, the weird thing with that was, the computer itself was saying the audio was working absolutely fine. There was just no audio output. Um, not through the normal jacks on the back or the front. So, I tried my USB headphones, they worked. And in the end I remembered I had a little USB adapter. You just plug in, it installs itself, and it's got mic and headphone jacks on it and it's just basically an audio adapter that you plug into a USB port quite handy if your lap, you know, your audio's died on your laptop or something it's like a quick temporary fix but I was never going to use it again so I just gave it to my cousin they're cheap enough to buy anyway so if I ever did want another one I can just go and buy one on eBay um, speaking of eBay I've bought an RF cable for the Sinclair um, and I've sold a bunch of stuff uh, I've sold the Honda headlamp unit that went for a nice £13.87 so I've got to pack that um, someone bought three of the matchbox cars I had up there in those um, boxes down there one he bought for three pounds and forty pence, and the other two sold for the two pounds I started them at. And then someone bought another one of the cars for four pound twenty, and another one for four pound sixty-five. And oh, and I sold a pair of vintage pedals for ninety-nine p. They also sold. I put the tripod on, so I just had to bend the leg out of the way. With those wheels, I only got five pounds for them, but didn't pay nothing for them in the first place. Um, so yeah, I've got another wheel to put on at some point. Um, printer works. I've got the um, paper over here. So I've paid for the postage and got the print uh, the labels to put on for the wheels. So that's done and dusted. I ain't got to worry about that. Um, um, the guy that opened the case against me has closed it and left me neutral feedback so it's not the best but I can't complain of that can I that's, not, that's a fair feedback that's more than fair actually because he's right I should have actually messaged him um, saying that the postage was going to be delayed but so he could have, if he wanted, left negative. So I'm actually grateful he did. Very grateful. Um, he was well within his right to. Well, the wheel hub, I've got feedback for that. See, I posted all three first class. That seems like only two arrived today, unless the other one hasn't. Um, maybe he wasn't in to get the parcel, so I won't be able to get it till Monday. I don't know. No people work. People work, people have jobs. Um, I'm winning those paraffin lamps. I decided to put a bid in because I don't know if I'm going to be awake in time in the morning. 10.49 they finish. About 10 to 11 in the morning. Um, so I start the ball rolling with a bid. I put a £10 maximum bid in. I'm not prepared to go much higher than that so if someone outbids me then that's it um, but since I've bid tonight two more bids have been placed I knew it would as soon as I put the bid in um, but it's only gone up to £3.20 and that is cheap still cheap for these lamps I would be well chuffed if I got them for that price I'm not sure that I will 
but you know, I would be chuffed if I could get to that price. But yeah, that's the other man I've put in. And um, if I win these, I'll pay for these, and then whatever's left in the PayPal will get put in my bank. Um, I'll take 72 hours a game, which isn't really that much of a problem, because it means I'll have money during the week, um, which is handy, because I've only just about got enough for groceries left and my service charge. Uh, yeah, my service charge plus extra on top to pay off the debt that isn't even my fault that's what really pisses me off with the debt I'm in it's not my fault um, and it's for two reasons I'm in this debt the first one was when I first moved in here um, the staff at the hostel I was staying in filled out the housing benefit application form for me um, all I did was drop it off at the council office and with all the necessary ID and whatnot. And yeah, um, but the council was paying the service charge. I didn't know. It's the first place I've had with a service charge. But it turns out I'm supposed to pay the service charge. So naturally, the council reduced the um, amount of rent I was getting, so it just covered the ground rent, the main rent, not the service charge. Um, but I was the one that had to pay back the um, the um, what they call it? overpayment. I think the council took it back from Victory, which put me in debt, and then Victory decided to make me pay that back. I don't see how that is fair, but... And then, of course, a couple of years ago, I had my mum, my brother, and stepdad staying here, because they lost their home. Um, the landlord just didn't want to renew the tenancy. Yeah, granted, they were in, they were behind with their rent as well, but they've made offers to pay it back, and you know, and make a payment plan to pay it off. But the landlord wasn't interested, so they couldn't find anywhere before they had to leave. So <coughs> they stayed here for a little while, and to obviously keep things legal, we had to adjust all my um, housing benefit applications and whatnot. And, truth to form, North Norfolk District Council kept fucking up the clients. Which put me further into rent arrears. So again, thanks to a fuck up with the council, that put me into arrears with this place even further. <sighs> so I'm now stuck paying them off. Which absolutely fucking sucks, to be honest. And it does frustrate me. Sorosis is itching a little bit. But, um, yeah, it's still got to be paid. I, you know, I want to keep the roof over my head. Oh. Right, well... At least I know the printer works fine. Still tells me the colour ink cartridge is empty, and I know damn well it isn't, but... <laughs> yeah. I built the big boy bulldozer up, because um, I did a video reviewing that bulldozer set over the back there, the um, little one. So I thought I'd build the big one up just to do a comparison, and um, yeah, there are, there's a lot of size difference, difference rather. There we go. This is 2009, and that's 2015. Um, I don't think everyone in the LEGO world likes the fact they shrunk the bulldozer, but the way I see it, in reality, you get different sizes of these machines anyway, don't you? You get different sized backhoes, you get different sized and different types of um, excavators. 
so that's my own backhoe. I built that tonight. Not sure I actually like it though. Hmm. I may just turn it into a front loader tractor. Yeah, I may take the um, back hoe off. I don't know. I'll decide that tomorrow. And eventually I will build up some more of my um, slightly older older sets from the 2000s. In the in the years, days. Year, you know, from 2000 onwards. Actually, I think I started getting back into leather about 2004-ish. Something like that. I started to... Uh, get back into it. Yes, yeah, so it may look like I've got a lot of Lego, but um, when you think about it that I've been uh, collecting for, or been into Lego for, ooh, 2014 would have been, would be 10 years, wouldn't it? About 11 years, you know. There's not a lot here for 11 years worth of work, really, is there? Not when you put things into perspective. Anyway. Is it me or have I got a habit of saying anyway? There's my concoction for dinner. Beans and sausages in a bowl. With um, salad cream and pepper mixed with it. And some bread to dip in. Don't know why. That's something I've always done. Probably one of the weirdest things I've done. Or I do, I should say when it comes to food. Um, I do like sauces, ketchup, salad creams, brown sauce, etc. Not really, 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 really spicy ones though. I um, don't know why I'm standing in the kitchen door. But, uh, I have to um, do a temporary fix on his, on the boss's um, litter tray. And by that I mean I took out the worst of it and just topped it up because I didn't have enough to um, do it properly. And I used the G-Tech to get up what he'd scraped onto the carpet as that was clean enough and threw that back in the tray as well. But, uh, it was starting to stink and I, duh, I don't like it when I can smell it stinking. It's not pleasant. So um, it's a temporary thing. I may get a bag of cat litter tomorrow or I may leave it till Monday. Not drag that out the way of the door. Put that there. I'm actually hungry, but I don't like eating at this time of night. Um, besides, I haven't really got anything to eat until the morning. I've got beans, but um, being diabetic, eating something with that much sugar in, this close to bedtime is not a good idea. I've learnt that the hard way, so... I'd rather go hungry. I've got two um, shoe buns in the fridge as well. That is very, very tempting, but again, sugar before bed is not a good thing. And that'll probably actually uh, keep me awake half the night. Yeah, I've got a family guy on. So, hopefully, by sort of midweek, I'll have the RF cable for my Sinclair. Then I'll tune it in. In profit. Oh, I can hear a beep and it's on the TV. <laughs> right. I'll turn those lights off now. I don't need those on. I forgot I had those hard drives. I thought I'd stack them all in the um, kitchen cupboard. But I found those in my tub um, of. Um, PCI cards and video cards and whatnot. Yeah, when I was trying to get the sound working, I was trying some different cards. I even installed them properly. And they just did not want to work. So that's why I said fuck it and got the... Um, I'm surprised I didn't think of it in the first place, actually. It would have saved about an hour's worth of pissing around trying to get the sound working. But, uh, never mind. <laughs> Yeah. I'll do those wheels tomorrow because I've got that book to be collected Monday. But um, it's going via 
my Hermes. Do I actually pronounce that correct, or is it pronounced via? Via? My? I've always pronounced that via, but I'm not sure that's actually uh, correct, unless it's just Americans that pronounce it via. I don't know. Uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to wrap those in bubble wrap, then wrap a couple of refuse sacks around each, um, and then somehow tape them together. Um, I would like to wedge, like, um, a chunk of foam or something between them, just so they sit straight, so otherwise when I tape them together they're going to sit just like that. <laughs> um, it wouldn't hurt. I've sent wheels like that before. Um, it's just not to my satisfaction myself, so... Um, yeah, that'll do, and I'll stick the label on. With some sticky tape. That reminds me, I am getting low on sticky tape. I have to stick the battery drawer with the battery cover shut on this camera, so... I have been getting through quite a lot of sticky tape. Um... A lot of the rolls I've had have lasted months and months. But, um, I take the light, Christmas lights in the window, so I am going to need some fresh rolls. See if I can get a pack out of Roy's or something. Um, I say erm a lot as well, don't I? Yeah. Right. The headphones actually still work. Despite... <laughs> They're all taped together with PVC tape. But, uh, I got a USB set with a um, microphone and whatnot, proper headset. Because I think it's actually meant... I think it's got scope on it or something, scope function. I don't know. But um, there's a bit of a loose connection on the um, inline volume control there, but they work fine. With a bit of a wiggle. Um, these ones, the actual headphones are taped to the... Um, bit that goes around your head, as you can see, because <laughs> they snapped off, so but they still work, but I will invest in another pair at some point, because, um, well actually that's what had a loose connection for a while, I'm actually surprised it hasn't broken fully yet, touch wood, I don't want to talk that up, <laughs> so I do enjoy listening to my music through my headphones, because that way I don't piss off the neighbours, and I can just sit and chill to my music on my own without upsetting anyone, because um, I used to do that in my first flat as well, but then again they used to do the same, but yet they'd moan at me when I did it, so I, could not, I couldn't quite figure that one out, and though they didn't do it to try and drown mine out, they would actually play it when mine was off, so... Yeah, I couldn't quite figure that one out. They could blast their music out, but they used to put complaints in when I did it, so... I don't know. People. But, uh, yeah, I thought, just to save hassle, I'll just... Well, I've been using headphones for years. Using them when I was in the hostel, actually. Because uh, I did get myself online when I was in the hostel. Surprisingly. Using one of those 3G USB dongle stick things. Slow as hell, but it got me online. Because, <laughs> to be honest, I couldn't get digital TV there, because when I was in the hostel, we still had analog being broadcast. So I could only get five channels, and that was our push with a stupid little portable aerial. Um, I only had the PS2 for the games console. Didn't really have any DVDs. So I was getting bored rigid at night, so when I saw these dongles, I thought, yeah, I'll give that a try. And <laughs> to get a good signal, I had to connect it to a USB extension cable and hang it out of the bedroom window. Um, but my window was, um, well, my room was in the attic, so my window looked out onto a part of the sloped roof, so I could just sit it on the edge of a tile or something that didn't slide down, thankfully. But that's all I did. And it got good enough signal to use. But, um, couldn't get free view where I was, because, um, 
reception for free view in that specific area at the time was shit. It's probably better now, six years on. But back then it was crap. Um, there was only the communal TV downstairs in the communal lounge. Um, well, actually, for a while, the other thing I did, I got myself a laptop. <laughs> and um, in one of the neighbouring buildings, they had internet with Wi-Fi. I was actually hijacking that. So I used to go down in the communal lounge at night when everyone else was in bed and uh, sit on the laptop for a couple of hours <laughs> hijacking on me on someone's internet. Well, it's not my fault. They didn't have the security on. What do they expect? Obviously, I don't do it now because I've got me own. But then, um, yeah, that was it. My laptop then broke. And that is when I got the um, computer up in my room with um, the little USB 3G dongle. That's crap. I can't believe you can still buy those. And they're expensive. I think back then mine was only about £20 or something daft. And now they're a lot more than that. I'd rather bloody pay what I pay on my broadband here for my fiber optic than that. Pay what it costs to get a USB 3G dongle and get shit service. Oh yeah, I forgot. I was uploading a video. <laughs> That's why I left this on. Publish. I am in need of some videos actually because I'm running out now. Ooh, someone subscribed back to my channel, from the looks of it. On the Lego channel, that is. What am I doing with the ca I don't know what angle I was holding the camera at. Let's just stick one up on the Lego channel quickly. If I can think of one. Yeah. Um, actually, I'll cancel that. I'll open YouTube and another thing. So I need to know... I always forget how far I've got in the list of videos on both channels. I tell you what, though, you would re to make a living off YouTube, you'd really have to work to produce the videos and the content. Because I'm not kidding. I've looked at my AdSense. I make on average seventy to eighty pence a month. If I'm lucky, give or take, you know, it'll, it differs each month, but that is what I average. What was I doing? Oh yeah, my channel. And that is actually, well now, that is actually through two channels. Right, so I've done that one, done that one. Done that one. I was just seeing if I had the street update one on here, which I haven't grown. Right. I'll stick that one on next then. Shouldn't, shouldn't take too long. Hello, right. I'll shut this video down in a minute as well. So I hit one of the did. Oh my bloody memory. Yeah, I'm going to get some reviews done, I think, to fill in, because I haven't got any updates on the screen, because I haven't done anything to it. So, uh, if I think of it, I'll have to, um, get some back reserve charger ready. In fact, if I can find the other pair of I could put those two pairs charging overnight. I can't remember where I put the other pair. It might have rolled off, actually. There's one. I've got another two energizers here, but I can't remember if they're dead or not. I'm going to have to uh, remember to test those on the meter. Well, I've got one. Where's the other one? Up, uh, 
Not let us come down the back. May have rolled off. I have a habit of knocking things down the back of this table. <sighs> right, well. That one can close. I'll need that one open. A quick check on Facebook. There's nothing going on, is there? Nope, not really. Oh, mum's online now. Oh, his little heart. Of mum wrote her. Didn't get me eyes checked, I think. Uh, people you may know. I know the surname of that guy. Old. I don't know if it's son or daughter, she doesn't say, but um, is autistic and uh, made that Sonic. Oh, himself a, a son. Yeah, so um, <laughs> that is actually pretty good. Um, don't think you could have got any closer using Lego bricks, so yeah, awesome. That gets a like. Share and like if you think that the BBC licence fee should be scrapped or should be abolished. Yes. Because the BBC is just one company in the UK, but if I chose not to watch BBC channels, I would still have to have a TV licence, even if I didn't watch BBC channels. Like BBC One, Two, Three, Four, etc., etc. <clears throat> so I think the BBC needs to do one of two things: either introduce adverts to cover the costs of running all their stations, or B, become a pay-for channel where you have to um, subscribe when you. Um, well, you have to subscribe to um, receive the channel. You know, they could include it in, um, I don't know, a subscription pack with Sky, which is our satellite provider over here. most things. It seems, I was just looking at the printer and that reminded me, I just leave it in a, um, well, it calls power save mode. I don't know if it's coming up on camera, but the um, power light sort of pulses with a green LED when it's in that mode. Um, it doesn't seem to affect my electricity consumption, so I've just left it like that. And um, every time I need it, I just whack that power button and stick a piece of paper in because it does seem to have a um, problem taking the paper in. Uh, instead of taking one, if I've got a bunch in there, that'll take the whole bunch. So, <laughs> so seeing as the chances are I only need one copy of everything I'd print, 
I um, I'll just stick a piece of paper in there before I'm ready to print, and then just come to the PC and print. And it's working via the Wi-Fi as well, <coughs> which is handy because if I ever come across any bike wheels that are worth selling on eBay, you now even if I did get only get a fiver for those. That's I didn't pay nothing for them in the first place, they were given to me. Well, it was either I took them or they were going to get scrapped, so... And I thought they were too good to scrap. Right. So, I'm going to disappear. I'm going to just wait for that video to upload to YouTube. I'm going to shut the PC down and just chill out in bed for about an hour. I might get myself a little drink, actually. I'm not going to fill the glass up because I won't drink it. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Like the video if you liked it, if you made it this far. Subscribe, because I do post videos daily. Well, usually, it'll be the odd day here and there where I won't, but you know the score now. I think that's Nemo telling me to go a bit. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.